satisfactory and the line for such stars as Sammy Hager, Robert Plant, and much more. We'll be right back. One of the top musical instrument companies in all the world this morning, where they're up and at them early making guitars. The vice president of manufacturing at Washburn International in Mundelein is Larry English. Good morning, Larry. Good hey, morning. Bob. Hey, hey, Bob and Larry. Nice to see you. Are you yeah. wearing the headphones because people are playing loud the music or because there's actual work being done? Yeah. Or maybe both, huh? It's a little bit of both, but they're out here working hard. Tell us about what goes on at this plant. Well, right now we're in the uh, paint area of the plant and we're seeing the boys applying a sunburst to a silver burst Paul Stanley guitar. And they're, we're going through the leveling area right now. And uh, then we're going to work our way around to the buffing area. Where, where does it, back up a little bit, Larry. I mean, where, uh, I don't know if you can show us this, but where, where, what is absolute stage one? Where does it all start? Oh, that starts back in the mill, uh -huh. and um, that's where they actually take the lumber that comes in, mm -hmm. and start cutting it, planting it, and shaping it into uh, the guitar necks and bodies. Yeah, we have some videotape. Uh, this would be uh, the process of uh, uh, cutting the, the guitar into the proper shape, uh, the body, the neck, the tuning pegs, and so forth. What's the, yeah. What kind of wood is used? Well, we use different woods. They're all exotic. There's plain maples that come from Western Canada, mahoganies from Africa, rosewood from India, ebony's from Africa. And those bodies that they're working on now are called swamp ash, and uh, they're being cut on the bandsaw and made ready for the bodies. So then after it's cut, then it gets to the area where you are right now? Uh, it gets uh, cut and then milled on the uh, NC routers and uh, works its way around after sanding into this area. And let's uh, take a look around there, uh, Larry, if we can. Now, I would think that uh, you've got a lot of music lovers, a lot of rockers there who would probably rather work a later shift than getting up at uh, this hour to do it. Well, uh, you know, most everybody who works here is a uh, musician. Uh -huh. And uh, they work all day. We start at 7. Uh -huh. And a lot of them gig at night. Yeah, I would think so. We've got, by the way, some uh, photographs of some of your uh, more famous customers, so starting with Sammy Hagar. And uh, now all of the guitars we're going to be looking at in these pictures came from your plant, right? That's correct. That's a $1,500 job, we're told, right there. Uh, that particular one is, yeah. And, and we build guitars up to $30,000. Yeah, here's one from, uh, this is worth about 10 grand, uh, Paul Stanley of KISS. Yeah, Paul's, uh, Paul's a great player, a great stage person, and uh, it's been actually wonderful working with him. And finally, here is uh, Def Leppard's Rick Savage. How, how did everybody hear about Washburn International and Mundelein, Larry? Well, the uh, music industry is a fairly tight community, mm -hmm. and we all know each other to some degree. Washburn is a, a well-known name in the arts community. So do you continue to supply these same people? Do, do you have a lot of people who just it's return business? They love your guitars, and uh, some of the stars come back? Oh, yeah. Uh, we have just endless business with the artists themselves, uh, since they're all you know manic about their instruments. And then uh, consumers as well. Uh, we generally find that most consumers will own four or five guitars. Look, at, this is a huge plant, isn't it? Uh, it's 130,000 square feet. And do you sell right on the premises, or do you supply uh, other places? Well, we, we generally sell through our retail distribution network. Uh, and, uh, yeah, but look at all this. This is unbelievable stuff. How long does a guitar last? It lasts forever. If hey. you take care of it, it lasts forever. <laughs> it lasts forever. Did you ever get uh, Pete Townsend trying to return one of those? He snatched up. <laughs> uh, we've, we've had similar attempts. <laughs> Here's a box of mugs. Thanks, Larry. Thank the uh, VP of uh, Manufacturing at Washburn International in Mundelein. And All right. There you go, the House of Blues. And uh, I understand very soon um, people will be able to tour the plant, right? Yeah, we're going to open the plant to uh, school tours and other people. In fact, uh, we're just finishing a program uh, with the House of Blues where we're donating 200 guitars to inner city schools and the House of Blues is going to teach them how to play them. So thank you, House of Blues. Yeah, That's great. Thank you. Good for you. And thank you, Larry English uh, in Mundelein at Washburn International. Thanks for stopping in, Bob and Mary Ann. Thank you, Larry. All right. We'll be right back. It's 7.32. Oh, by the way, does Larry know we have Fox Thing of the Morning guitar picks? Oh, we should have. Yeah, hey, Larry, we're going to send you some Fox Thing of the Morning guitar picks, you know? We'll use them.
them, you add that as an incentive, and you'll be selling out those ten thousand dollar guitars. All right, we'll use it. We'll play it. All right, Zach and Jay will be along shortly with uh, information on where to get the best checking accounts in the city, and a little later on in the Fox Sting Zone at Pet Psychic. Also, more on today's top news stories coming up, including the aftermath of Hurricane Dennis, live from Virginia Beach. Right now, you can check out these forecasts in other places.